Lithium ion battery powered devices can be found virtually everywhere that we use, like our cell phones, laptops, e-bikes, scooters, and so much more. Despite their many advantages, lithium batteries have the potential to overheat, catch fire, and cause explosions, as you can see in this video. This most commonly occurs when the batteries are damaged or have an internal short circuit that causes a chemical reaction, which leads to thermal runaway and a fire. In 2023 alone, there were 1,560 fires, 621 injuries, and 111 fatalities from these kinds of battery fires. That's why I have Todd Budd, the Assistant Fire Chief of Fire Prevention from the Lafayette Fire department with me today to discuss the best way to prevent these types of fires. Good afternoon. Hi. Thanks for joining me Thanks today. Thanks for having us. Well, so let's talk about these battery fires. I know I was talking with somebody on the west side and they said a lot of the college dorms, they were um, having fires because people were plugging in their e-bikes and their scooters. Have you seen an increase? We have seen an increase. We, it's not just the scooters or e-bikes. We're also seeing it with the uh, hoverboards, the uh, remote control drones, airplanes, things of that nature. So, yeah, there's so many yeah. people using those types of batteries. So I know that um, we just recently covered um, a fire at Virtuous Cycle, and it was caused by an e-bike battery, but they caught it quickly, correct? Yes, that's correct. Luckily, they had a security camera in uh, the facility, and the motion detector detected the flames and the smoke of the, of the bike that caught fire. Uh, and so that went off, notified the occupant, and they investigated and discovered the fire quickly. And of course, we got there quickly and were able to extinguish it. Yeah, so that was good news with that. So what can people do to prevent these kind of fires? Let's talk about that. Yep, so the first thing we would recommend is uh, making sure that we're selecting batteries that are from a certified agency like UL. Uh, a lot of these unregulated batteries are coming in and that's causing a problem. These things are mass produced. Uh, and so when they are produced, there's more errors uh, for an opportunity uh, for something to fail uh, during the manufacturing process. We want to take care of them. Uh, if a battery falls, uh, you know, the kids get on their e-bikes or their scooters. They want to go out and treat them like e-bikes or scooters and jump curbs and things like that. Mm -hmm that may cause a damage to the battery. Well, even though the scooter is still operating, they unknowingly know that there's a failure in the battery. So they'll go home, they'll plug it in, charge it, and then that will lead to the thermal runaway. And you don't wanna leave it um, charging overnight. That's a big no-no. Yeah, don't charge them overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, once they hit their uh, full charge, unplug the charger or take the battery out of the charger. And please, whatever you do, please do not put these things next to your door on your to go outside because if that fails, uh, you just lost an exit. All right. Well, some great advice. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, it affects a lot of people. So mm -hmm. be safe out there with those e-bikes and cell phone chargers and et cetera, right? Yes, very safe. All yep. right. Thank you. All right. Now we'll